morning guys we're just on our way to Costco I'm gonna try and look for some foods to make for Christmas dinner I'm really really hoping they have cranberry sauce I've never seen it there I'm hoping that they brought it in for the holidays we'll see um, but if not I'll think of some other things um, to make it kind of different than usual. I want to try and make something special. Lots of you guys suggested to me uh, lots of recipes from YouTube and like other YouTubers that make vegan recipes. Stuff like tofu, turkeys, and stuff like that. So thank you so much. I've been looking through those and trying to get some ideas. So that's really great. Well, I'm here on Oh, the cute little old lady that lives close to us brought me some wagashi. She went on a shopping trip today and she said there was a, a famous brand of sweets there. So she got these for me because she knows I love them. <laughs> so nice. And then this is even nicer. She got a birthday cake for keyboard son because I told her his birthday is coming up. Oh, look at him. That's so sweet of her. Look at the little snowman. He's gonna love that. He's in the shower right now. I'm gonna put it on the table. playing Mononoke on the TV. Sake? Oh, I love this brand. I didn't know they had lip balm. Has anyone tried these? <gasps> Ooh, that's tempting. Oh, I wanted to get a heated blanket for... Miko. What? Marzipan. No, it has butter in it. Oh, Sugoina. Blueberry muffin. Oh, that sounds so good. Sometimes they sell like American brand clothing here which is nice because they'll have American sizes. I bought some jeans here before that was exciting <laughs> and I got my house coat here. House coats aren't really that popular in Japan so stuff like that Costco is really good for. Yeah this is the one I got. 2,000 yen. This company makes the best massage machines. Are these popular all overseas? I've only ever seen them since coming to Japan, but they make so many different shapes, like for your neck and your back and your feet and arms and everything. This is a new one. I think this is just for your neck. They have lots of pet stuff here, but it's mostly for dogs. Like all oh, this is for dogs. He loves the... Uh, Korejan. He loves this stuff. It's like bleach spray. He uses it to clean the counter. Bubbly. It, it turns into bubbles. It's pretty useful. I want a hand blender so I can make that whipped cream, but I feel stupid buying one just for whipped cream. Yeah. You <laughs> know. This is awesome. This is great for cereal addicts. It's a good Christmas present. <laughs> I would love that. Oh, Ina. Oh, chowy, kore, yatte mite. Yawarakai. Chow yawarakai. Kanfu de yatta yatsu yori. Chow yawarakai. Totte ageru. Kore yatte mite. Oh, 
超楽しいんじゃない？よつかをこれ買ったら。Oh, they have vegan protein powder. That's cool. I get stuff off of iHerb though. So on the first floor is where all the food is. The best floor. They have tons of American produce. Ah, oh, avocado. I really like getting berries here because they're super hard to find in regular Japanese grocery stores. So we usually get blueberries and raspberries from here. Ooh, they have blackberries too. Broccoli, oh, okay. Ooh, three broccoli for four bucks. That's tempting. Blackberries, six dollars. Eight dollars for the raspberries. Good, all the mushrooms. Lots of these are from Japan. Whoa, those look good. Gobo is like my absolute favorite. This is burdock root. If you can get it in your country, get it and look up burdock root recipes. It's so yummy, guys. Ooh, that looks good. I can love spinach. I'm getting this. They have the food testing like they do back in Canada too, so I always eat stuff when I come here. I just tried some blueberries and some red grapes. They were really good, so we're gonna get some of the blueberries. They have lots of bakery goods that you can't find in regular grocery stores, like muffins, uh, bagels, pies, stuff like that. And this is where I get my lifetime supply of soy milk. Mm, I really want to get some bagels. Onion. This looks good. Oh, coconut milk. I've never tried this before. $17 for six of them. Okay, so I'm looking for my favorite burgers now. I didn't have them last time and I was super sad because that's like my favorite thing to get here and I was so happy when I found them the first time and then they stopped selling them. Darn, yeah, looks like they don't have them. Basically they have all the like American foods <laughs> that you might possibly miss if you live in Japan. They found the burger section, but they got rid of the vegan burgers. I guess no one was buying them. That's a shame, because they were freaking delicious. You guys are all missing out. The snack sections are like a mix of American snacks and Japanese snacks. It's pretty much half and half. It's really cool. You can get like big versions of whatever you love, whether it be like American stuff like nuts are kind of hard to find in big portions like this in grocery stores. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm. We're on the hunt for cranberry sauce now. It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> We're in the can section. Oh, this is awesome. Eight cans of organic diced tomatoes for nine bucks. Yes. Oh, corn. Mahoshina. This is where I always buy my year's supply of oatmeal. <laughs> so cheap, $12. This is the seaweed that we're addicted to. Still looking for cranberry sauce, no luck. We're in the spice aisle now. I really doubt it will be here, but maybe I'll get lucky. They have lots of nice spices here that you wouldn't normally find in a Japanese grocery store like the sweet red chili sauce. Oh. Go. Oh, my favorite. I did it. It's good. Come on, cranberry. Why? That's sad. Let me see if I can get it online. We're all done, heading home now. I cannot wait to eat the leftover soup at home. I am so freaking starving. I just had some Reese's cereal for breakfast this morning. That's all I've eaten, it's already 6.30, so 
I'm gonna die. And I bet keyboard sounds really hungry too. All right guys, Mara and I are back to answer your questions today. He was waiting here for me <laughs> when I came up here to film. What are we gonna answer today, Mara? Pick one. Pick a question. Yeah? You know that one? Okay. Kirara Cutie 44 asks, when you first came to Japan, what was the very first place you wanted to visit? When I go, I want to meet Hachiko at Shibuya Station. Lots of people say that. I hear that from lots of people that that's the first thing they want to go see or that's something they definitely want to include in their Japan trip. I didn't even know about the Hachiko story when I first came to Japan. I didn't know much about Japan at all. I had just taken some Japanese classes for a couple years, but we didn't really study the country itself too much or the culture very much. We mostly just focused on language. Um, but what I was interested in was martial arts. So I really wanted to see some like kendo practices or performances um, and I got to do that during my first homestay visit so that was really cool. Slated asks, how do your cats even get up and down from that bunk bed? Marl, how do you get up and down from the bunk bed? You want to show them? You want to show them? Marl, are you hungry? Marl, hungry boy? Snack time? Snack time, Marl. Marl, snack time. Marl. Luna. Luna, come here. Show them how you get up. There you go. That's how Luna gets up sometimes. However, she mostly uses this ladder to get up. She's crazy. And she also uses it to get down, which looks very awkward and scary, but she somehow manages to do it. Maro always gets up and down using this, so I built him a little staircase <laughs> with his cube and this little bookshelf thingy. Maro, are you hungry? Maro, snack time. Gosh, it's better. Your tooth is stuck again. We didn't get to go to the vet today. It was closed, unfortunately. Hopefully we will make it there tomorrow. All right guys, me and keyboard son are gonna watch a movie. We rented Sadako vs. Kayako. Oh, I've not seen it yet. I've worn a costume from the movie, <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet. So I'll let you guys know how that was tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel because it tells YouTube that this video is worth watching and they will share it with more people. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down too. That's okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.